going to show you how to make a really simple but absolutely delicious tart using British apples and pears. Now in this bowl here I've got some fresh white breadcrumbs. I'm going to add about half a pack, 50 grams of toasted chopped hazelnuts, some light muscovado sugar and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Just pop that in and just give it all a little mix around. Now for the pastry I'm going to be using phyllo and you need three sheets. If you open them out they're quite long so what I'm going to do is just cut them in half straight down the middle to make squares. They need to work two at a time. There you go. Now we're just going to lightly butter them with a brush and some melted butter. Now once you've got the two squares, what we're going to do is make a rectangle on our baking tray. So lay one down and then we'll just use a little bit of an overlap. There we go. And I'm going to scatter over a third of that mixture. And this is why this dish is so nice because we've got the crunch from the nuts and the sweetness and the spice from the cinnamon. It's going to be delicious. So just a nice even layer. We're just going to repeat that with another layer of phyllo. another third of the lovely crumb mixture. And now for the final layer of pastry. Now this recipe calls for three sheets which is roughly half a pack so you can always just freeze the other half in case you want to make it again or for something else. It's going to make the pastry go really lovely and golden and crisp around the edges while it bakes. There we go. Now for our fruit. I'm going to be using two pears and two apples. I'm not going to peel them. So let's just quarter them and then nip out the core. And then I've got a large bowl ready here. I'm just going to slice them and pop them straight into the bowl. Go quite thinly if you can. Let's just do the same with those two pairs. So that's all of our fruit nicely prepared. We've got some butter left. I'm just going to pour that over. Just mix it around. We just want to coat the fruit evenly. The remaining crumb mixture in that goes too. And if you wanted to, you could put some dried fruit in here, like some sultanas at this point. And then you're going to have to just use your hands. Just work it all together. And then let's just pop it on top of the pastry. And just spread it out fairly evenly, but don't get too worried about it. And now all we need to do is bake this for about 20 minutes until the apples and pears go deliciously juicy. We get a lovely crispy border. And there we have it, my easy apple and pear phyllo tart, delicious with a drizzle of maple syrup or a spoonful of mascarpone. <laughs>